All right, hello everybody, welcome back. Man, we have a game log review for everybody here. So this is from the Season 6 Competitive League, Week 1. And this was a game that Morgan actually mentioned in the Zion's Finest Slack as being a pretty awesome game. So I thought we would fire it up since they did submit a Vassal log for us to review. Or at least uh, submitted a log and we're going to review it. And we've got uh, Morgan on the right here. So if you've been missing out on Rebels in the recent gameplay videos that have gone up, this is going to be a good one for you. We've got a double feature with Rebels. Both players playing Rebels here. Uh, we're playing on Jawa's Palace Spoils of Crime. So that's the mission where you can pick up a crate with an action. And then at the end of the round, if you're carrying a crate, you get two VPs. So we've got Morgan on the right who is playing Kotun Jinodon. Lando Calrissian, love seeing Lando, Cassian Andor, K2SO, and then Rebel Care Package with Harrison Dula. Not playing R2 though, he's playing Rebel High Command. And his opponent is Matt, who is going to be playing uh, Rebel Care Package with R2D2. He also has Kotun and Hera. However, instead of Morgan's figures, he's got Cara Dune, CT1701, and Mara Jade. So Morgan has a bit of a smuggler theme to his list, whereas Matt has more of a trooper brawler theme going on with his. Morgan's starting off with initiative. And we're doing our smooth landing here. So Matt already did his, and now Morgan is resolving his smooth landing, and that is with Hera. And something I knew I'm going to be trying with these videos that I kind of experimented with during the last live stream is using this card window in the chat box uh, to show the cards. So this is Hera Sandula resolving her smooth landing. And now Cassian is resolving his ability called Strike Team. That's going to move himself and K2SO. And that also allows him to give power tokens to each figure up to four figures that are outside of the deployment zone. So thanks to Hera, that's going to be four, so going to be damage power token to K2SO, Cassian, Lando, and Jin Odon. And then Kotun, using her ability, arms distribution, uh, during setup or during deployment to give Jin Odon a uh, evade token, which is quite good with Jin's cunning ability. So there's Jin and Kotun. All right, so Morgan has initiative here. We're playing on Jabba's palace. There's drawing cards. There's Matt's name. Kotun activating first for Morgan. Gonna open that door first thing, and then moves down. So Morgan trying to control the middle of the map here, saying, hey, don't open your door or I will shoot you. And now Matt going to activate R2 to draw a card. Morgan activating 3PO. Going to focus up Jin Odon there. So further solidifying his control of the center of the map. Uh, Hera going to activate for Matt. Going to move down by 3PO. Gideon focusing Morgan's Lando and pushing him up next to Jin. 3PO focusing Cara Dune for Matt. Going to stay next to Cara Dune. Got Hera going to go and retrieve that crate. Kotun moves up to the door but not opening it for Matt. Cassian moving down going to take control of that crate there. So now Morgan has two objectives. And Cassian's movement triggers K2SO's uh, ability, which is uh, Cassian said I had to, so he gains one power damage power token for that. And now it looks like Cassian going to be playing Intel Leak on Matt. He sees Wildfire, Element of Surprise, Parting Blow, and Parry. He's going to take the Parting Blow there, so Cassian taking two strain as damage. But he is open to attack from there, so CT going to come up and do a, uh, what is it called, barrage. CT, where is his card? There it is. 
That's his season six updated card. Element of surprise being played. Negation gonna stop that though. Uh, interesting that he went for the element on the first attack there. Since there are going to be two white die. Well, maybe that's why, because with two white dice, you can't guarantee the dodge is not going to be there. But that's going to do four damage, it looks like. Second attack, going to target Cassian, who rolls two white dice now. One for the base and one for the barrage. That's going to do two damage. So Matt trying to play Wildfire after the dice are rolled. <clears throat> Oh, does that kill Cassian? Because he's got Hera. One, two, three. Search for plus one. Oh, yeah, if he uses Hera, he will do five, and that kills Cassian. It's actually that intel leak is what did it. So, wow, Matt taking an early lead there. Morgan triggers heroic effort, drawing a card and putting one on the bottom. Uh, now he's going to activate K2SO, who is tokened up and ready to fire with... Uh, what is his ability called? See, I can never remember what the abilities are called, but now we can just go ahead and look at them, look them up. Continually unexpected. So this allows him to make a ranged attack. He's normally a melee figure, but if he has two power tokens, he can make a ranged attack. Uh, CT gained a defense uh, power token there from his new ability, Covering Fire, so it looks like he's spending that. And K2 is going to spend his damage power token with a big roll, lots of damage, no surges, but that is max damage there, 7, 8, minus 2, so that's 6 damage to CT in return. Now Mara going to come up and hide CT, so body block in there. Jinodon going to come up and take a shot here at Mara Jade. So spends a power token and has a focus. Jeez. No surges, so not going to be able to stun. Going to use Hera to add a damage. So she has plus one damage naturally. So that's six, nine, so it's eight damage. Oof. Eight damage to Mara, who has 11 health total. All right, uh, looks like, okay, so Kotun did not activate yet for Matt. She got moved up by Gideon. So now she can open the door and then with her second action, take a shot. So she's going to take a shot at Lando here. Love Lando, love seeing Lando getting played. Um, put a lot of work into him in Season 4, so. Not great for Kotun there, but she does get a reroll since she spent a power token, it looks like. Uh, that's going to be 3, 4, 5, minus 1. Lando going to use his ability to re-roll. Did he guess? Oh, he did. He guessed two blocks. So that's going to be not much damage coming through. Um, I think that's just two damage on Lando. Oh, going to use Hera for, to add one more. So let's put Lando up on the screen here. So Lando, if you re if you guess a num you can guess a number before you re-roll his die, and if you guess right, you double that die. So uh, Morgan must have guessed two when he re-rolled to a black die. So Lando, very good when he is lucky, uh, and very good if you know how to manipulate the luck with Lando. So love, love, love that card. Love seeing him get played. I think he, he's definitely a solid piece. He's not like super hyper uh, good like some of other cards we might be seeing. Uh, but he still like pulls his weight. And if you can get lucky, if you can get a little lucky with him, he does pretty amazing things. So Lando activating, going to return fire here at Kotun. So he's focused. He's got a power token. And he's going to use Gambit here. Ooh, triple block from Kotun. I'm going to reroll the green. 
Let's see what he rolls. If it's a red, you'd guess two normally. Oh, he's re-rolling into a blue. Oh, he needs that accuracy. Did he guess two symbols? I don't think he did, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough to get range with his surge for plus two accuracy. And then he can surge for either plus two damage or pierce one and hide. He is really good when he's hidden, so I wouldn't be surprised if he took the hide here. Uh, nope, just did the plus two damage. <clears throat> so it looks like he did five damage to Kotun there. Didn't spend his power token. Interesting. All right, Cardoon coming up. Going to take a shot at Hera. And going to use her Shock and Awe. Sweet uh, new ability name by Josh Joshua Josh Singer. Josh Songer, excuse me. <laughs> so it allows her to replace her yellow die with a red die once per round. And this is a focused attack. She does have a reroll for that red die. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's gonna be eight damage on Hera. That should finish her off. So Matt taking a pretty decisive lead here, killing two figures in the first round. And that's the end of round one. Morgan not getting any points for those crates he picked up um, with those figures there. Initiative passing over back to Matt. Matt going to play Covering Fire, it looks like. So it's going to hide three troopers and give them an extra surge ability to either stun or do plus two damage. All right, it looks like he's activating Kotun, unless this is a call to Vanguard, but I don't see that card anywhere, so. Kotun going to activate, going to take a shot at Jin. Jin spends a power token, triggers Cunning, gets another Cunning token, or Cunning trigger. Much better roll for Jin this time, but the surges aren't going through, so it's just going to be raw damage. So I think that's three damage onto Jin. Jin surprisingly tanky if you give her power tokens, especially with evade tokens. Uh, but especially if she's by 3PO, it can be very hard to deal a lot of damage to her. Um, just because she cancels all your surges usually. and then, But I see a lot of people that just play her like without any of that. And if she doesn't have any power tokens or anything to trigger a cunning, she can die very quickly. Uh, but here we have her playing Element of Surprise on Kara. And Kara is not hunkered down here, so she's not going to get that extra evade. She, she does have a power token to spend, it looks like. Oh, going to play parry. Calm disruption going to stop that from Morgan. So <clears throat> he was trying to stop the stun there. Uh, she does have enough accuracy even with the hidden. One, two, three, four, five because Jin has naturally plus one accuracy. So I'm going to do four damage and stun. And I don't think she even needed to use Sidewinder there. So Jin moving up. All right, 3PO activating for <clears throat> Matt. Going to focus. Matt's Hera. And Gideon activating for Morgan. Going to play Planning. Draws two and going to focus his Kotun. Hera going to activate for Matt. Going to take a shot at Jin. Morgan's going to play on the lamb here. So that's going to move Jin all the way back towards his terminal. Kotun activating for Morgan. Going to play Heart of Freedom for two movement points. Going to use her arms distribution to take a damage token, it looks like. Let's put Kotun up here. <clears throat> and let's see. So she's got six movement total with Heart of Freedom. 
Going to trigger K2SO's um, Cassian that I had to ability to give him another power token. And going to take a shot at Mara Jade. Although I don't... Wow, does she have line of sight from there? I don't think so. Oh, maybe from Kotun's uh, back corner here. This would be an awesome line of sight uh, play if it works. Yeah, it goes right over the intersection there. So from Kotun's bottom right to Marjade's top left and top right, it looks like she has line of sight. So it spends a power token. Oh, there's a dodge, but Dead Precise is going to stop that dodge. Marjade goes down. So Morgan picking up a kill there, gets six points. CT going to activate for Matt. Going to play Wild Attack. I'm not sure who he's targeting, but it can't be K2SO. There's a black and a white defense die. Oh, from the wild attack. Oh, I think that was... So that must have been Jin uh, interrupting with hair trigger and then attacking with wild attack. Yeah. And now Jin's going to play run for cover. So, no, J sorry, Jin's not playing run for cover. She is using... Um, Sidewinder. So what happened there is Jin hair triggered on CT's activation, attacked him with wild attack, then used Sidewinder, took a strain, discarded um, run for cover from the top of the deck, and then moved two spaces onto the terminal. All right, CT, I'm going to finally resolve his activation. I'm going to attack K2SO, so no command cards can be played on this attack by either player because of K2SO's um, unconvincing ability. I'm guessing this is a barrage though. One, two, three, four. So four damage and stun or weaken? Oh, he can stun because of covering fire. That's right. So he spends a surge to stun. He gets a block token from Covering fire. Does, let's see. CT. What is his ability called? Cover fire. Yeah, that's cover fire and covering fire. So, this is the second attack barrage. Ooh, that's going to be a dodge. And there's no Kotun to give him the anti. Or, he didn't spend a power token, unfortunately, so he's not going to get the anti dodge. All right, so so now we've got K2. All right, so looking at the board here, so now it looks like K2SO is gonna be attacking Kotun. And doing a melee attack, I'm sure, but he is going to spend that power token. Um, let's see. Not focus, plus one damage. Kotu with a block token um, from Barrage, from uh, CT. So this is K2SO. Let's pull him up here. Okay. So he did spend a power token, and he is within three of Morgan's uh, Kotun, so he gets to re-roll there, the red. So it looks like... <clears throat> He's got Surge for plus two, a Surge for Pierce one. So that's going to be... Six pierce one, so it's gonna be four damage to Kotun. 
Putting her at two health left. All right, Matt drawing a card with R2. Uh, Gideon gonna, oh no, I'm sorry. This is a uh, 3PO activating for Morgan. Gonna focus Lando. All right, now we've got Kara activating. Gonna remove the stun. Looks like she's gonna move. Hmm. How did she remove that condition? She's attacking now. So attacking, oh no, she's using smash. So she removed the stun, first action, second action move, and now she's using smash for free on K2SO. It looks like that's going to do three damage to him. Not gonna push him. Okay, so that was Matt's activation. Morgan gonna activate Lando here. And let's see what he does. I'm gonna have to try and guess what he guesses. Because obviously they're using um, Discord voice chat, so I'm not, I don't, I can't know what he guessed, but I can guess what he guessed. So I'm gonna attack Kara. Kara is gonna get the hunker down ability. Let's bring up Kara here. You can see she is next to a blocking terrain, so it's gonna give her the plus one evade. And then we'll pull up Lando's card, so y'all can see what he does. So he's going to be focused, he's not hidden, so he's going to be green, green, yellow. Yeah, not red yet. Kara did not roll good. So now Lando can re-roll any of those dice and change the color. I would think he would re-roll the yellow and go for red here since it's point blank range. And then usually you guess two on red. Since red you have a 50% chance of two pips. Well, I guess the three. You can't guess three. Um... Oh, he gets to re-roll, so he looks like he spent a power token. He has to re-roll with Kotun, and then because of his Gambit ability, he can change that die color as well. However, he can only guess once for Shrewd Scoundrel, so this should not be doubled unless he waited to double it for some reason. But yeah, that's a nice combo there with Lando and Kotun, giving him that re-roll. So, decent amount of damage there. Gonna stop the Surge with Hunker Down, but she's gonna take 7. So yeah, Lando hits hard, and he hits harder the more you modify him. I mean, even he he didn't guess right on that red die roll, but he still got a triple on the red. You know, it's only if you really flub on the one pip with the red, and you really shouldn't be guessing one. Anyway, uh, Gideon going to move up to Matt, and he's going to peek through that gap between R2 and the corner to focus CT. And that is going to be the end of the round. I believe that was the end of round two. So yeah, initiative goes back to Morgan. Uh, Matt's going to play take initiative here. Morgan already played his negation. And do are we seeing a call to Vanguard? Nope. He's going to exhaust R2 for take initiative. And he's going to, looks like he's activating Kara. So he's attacking Morgan's full health Kotun. Going to use shock and awe here to replace the yellow with a red. And he's getting an extra surge because she was hidden from the covering fire last round. Gonna re-roll with professional. That's pretty good. That's nine damage, so seven. Oh, gonna add a another surge for blast, maybe. She only has a surge for plus two and a surge for blast two. Is she gonna blast? Yeah, she's blasting. That's gonna kill uh, K2SO. That is going to hit Kara for two, but she's got one health left. She's got 14 total. Should have done some damage to Lando there. And then, are we seeing a parting blow here? Oh, we're seeing a smash on Kotun. And then are we going to see a parting blow? There it is. So this is going to parting blow for the two damage remaining. Can't use Shock and Awe on this one, so it's going to just be a red, blue, yellow. But should be enough to deal two damage to Kotun. Yep, that's going to do it, even with the reroll. Risky to reroll there into a tough luck, but I guess he still would have gotten the kill. Okay, so Matt pulling even further ahead. He's got three figures dead. Morgan only has one. And stun from Parting Blow. Should probably pull up Kara for that. 
It's going to be hard to remember sometimes. All right, so we've got Jin Odon. Going to activate. Going to come up and who is she? probably going to take a shot at Kotun here. Oh, we got Get Behind Me being played by CT. So CT is going to take the attack instead of Kotun, but he's pretty damaged. I believe he has three health left. Triple block helps a lot, but... Oh, and he's got a block token. I think only two damage. Oh, he's going to do one damage and... Hmm. One damage and stun. And cheat to win coming out for some reason here. Oh, he's uh, doing Sidewinder. So he's going to take a strain to move two spaces after attacking, and then he's discarding from the top of the deck, and it was cheat Lando's card, Cheat to Win. Which is a pretty strong card for Lando, so it sucks to see that come off the top, but uh, it makes sense to not want to be doing a lot of damage to Jin. Alright, so 3PO just going to run up and focus CT. And now we've got Gideon. It looks like he's playing Fleet-Footed. One, two, three, four to grab the oh to sh take a shot here so he's going to try and get that one damage on Kara she's got hunkered down but ooh, that was a good roll from Gideon so it does it Morgan takes the kill on Kara still behind but he's catching up now he's got two Matt's got two very damaged C figures in CT and Kotun so Morgan could if he can kill both of them could catch up but Morgan's figures have a lot of damage too so not sure this could be any good game still. Alright, Gideon moving up. Gonna shoot at Lando with Wild Attack. Lando dodges. I don't think there was a power token spent here, so... Yeah, Wild Attack's really good in a Kotun list, but you really want to be spending a power token when you play it. Um, Lando gonna activate for Morgan. He's only got three health, so definitely want to get that activation done before he dies. Gonna move up and take a shot here at CT. Gonna play tools. So I'm guessing adding a red. Oh, he's adding a green. Hmm. Oh, that kills uh, CT. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we've got Hera. Who is this attack from? Blue, green, yellow. Lando just activated. It must be Hera. It's hard when they don't <laughs> exhaust the, the card before they activate it. Um, but who's he attacking? White die must be attacking Jin. I'm surprised she didn't quick draw. Yeah, that was an attack on Jin, and that was Hera. Gonna move somewhere. Gonna stay still. Oh, gonna play. So, 3PO activating for Morgan plays Urgency. <coughs> so he can focus up Jin here. Sorry, my throat's getting a little dry. Now I've got Kotun activating for Matt. Uh, he's gonna take a block power token. And this is the start of activation for Kotun. So Matt has initiative, so Matt gets to use Kotun first. And then um, then Jin Odon's hair trigger will go off here. So it's going to be a focused hair trigger. So we're going to probably deny this activation. Yep, so Matt going to lose the activation there. Morgan basically gets to chain activations. So this, he's catching up now. That was Kara, Kotun, and CT gone this round. Pulling ahead to 28. Uh, excuse me, what's happening? They're backing it up. Not sure what's happening. 3PO. I'm definitely hitting the uh, forward button, but it looks like they are backing things up. Backing it all the way up to Lando's activation. This is... Gideon, what's happening? I don't understand. Well, 
Not sure what happened there. I'll have to ask the players. Okay, so I've been informed by Matt. I asked them what ha players what happened. Uh, I guess the game ended here, and um, yeah, Morgan won. So uh, I guess I guess if you look at it, um, Mor Morgan, you know, killing Kotun there. Matt's basically down to just Hera, um, and it looks like. So actually, yeah, that was the time. So that was time and round, and I guess that was the end of that round. And so Morgan actually won on time there. But he definitely has a commanding battlefield control here with the rest of his figures. He's still got Lando and Jin Odon, and um, and Matt only has Hera, who's pretty damaged. Or I guess not damaged, but, you know, has to fight against these two very strong mid midpoint figures. So yeah, a great game. Um, Morgan had a great comeback there. Um, down two figures in the beginning and having to face against Cardoon and able to, to pull it back with some of these cool smuggler tricks. Um, so in the thread that Morgan posted, um, Matt mentioned that he misplayed CT, but I didn't catch it. So if you're watching this, uh, make sure to tell, me, tell us in the comments, how did Matt misplay his CT? Because <laughs> I didn't get to call it out. I told Matt I would, ca I would call him out on it, but... I didn't catch it, so. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Season 6 ICP gameplay, and we'll catch you on the next one.